Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to check out Android 6.0 Marshmallow here for the HTC One M7, uh, and this is uh, brought to you by C Droid, which is a very nice firmware that you can download. I will leave a link in the description if you uh, want to try it out. Uh, I was actually looking for a uh, sense-based marshmallow, but I don't think one exists yet for the M7, but uh, it might come eventually. Uh, but those of you who don't like sense, you know, you could uh, check this one out. It's very similar to what you'll find on like the Nexus phones in terms of the uh, stock build here. So you can see we are getting Android 6.0 uh, marshmallow, and we can have a look at the actual uh, the settings here. In fact, it's actually 6.0.1, so the latest uh, Android version. Uh, obviously, uh, powered by C Droid as well, CR Droid, uh, which is nice. And we can have a look at uh, some of the features that you can find on this uh, particular ROM. So, first things first, you can see we do have uh, the Sense uh, kind of wallpaper here. So, uh, if we have a look, we can get some other wallpapers on, such as your Nexus uh, wallpapers, as well as some other kind of uh, older ones, it seems. So if we have a look, we can go back. Uh, also, it looks like you get your themes integration as well. I think maybe this ROM is uh, similar to like your CM13. It's like probably powered by the same kind of uh, like uh, software here. You can see the same kind of equalizer setting uh, as you'd find on a CM13 device. Uh, also, we're getting uh, some other things as well, such as the CM file manager so I think uh, quite similar in that respect uh, we also seem to get uh, like uh, some other things in the settings here that you can customize such as it's called the uh, extra settings here so for example you can customize uh, the screen and animations so like your toast animations if you want a different one that can be uh, customized here uh, so if we just put the Hanami one on, you can see that uh, comes up differently now, uh, or grow fade. Uh, also, we can go back and see that we do get uh, customization of the recent panel, uh, as well as a RAM uh, memory bar, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we also get uh, Omni switch as well, not really sure what that does to be honest. Uh, also, the C Droid logo at the top left. Uh, so quite a bit of customization in that little setting there. Uh, we can also have a look at uh, some of the settings, which is a display. So you can see we do get uh, you know standard kind of thing here, double tap to wake. So you can hopefully do that. Does it work? Probably not. So probably that doesn't work at the moment. Or is it not gone on? So we put it on now. No, it doesn't seem to work. That doesn't. So you might want to uh, forget that one. Uh, we also have uh, double tap to sleep. It seems so. That <laughs> ironically that does work, which is weird. Uh, so quite a few settings in here. Just going to change this. Uh, LCD density, you want a bit higher pixel density, you can go ahead. Probably won't be good for the battery life though. Uh, in regards to the battery, you know, you're getting all your marshmallow things here, but uh, battery dose optimizations. So you can see that nice and uh, good for the battery. M7 back in the day probably wasn't the best battery life phone, but this should definitely uh, help, you know, eke out some juice here. Uh, you get some lock screen customization as well, and also getting the uh, permissions management, so that will be in the apps area. And you can get access to that here. So, fully uh, compliant with the latest Marshmallow permissions management, which is nice. Uh, so there seems to be quite a few options in here that you can put on, uh, which is quite good, particularly those who like you know stock Android here, uh, or like your Google Play edition HTC One devices. 
so I think we have system profiles as well, which is nice, and status bar. So uh, quite a nice uh, amount of things here then to customize. Uh, in terms of the actual uh, benchmark performance, I did do a Quillo and two two using the latest and two two, and you can see we're getting thirty eight thousand and fifty three, which is quite nice for a Snapdragon six hundred, uh, which is I think was uh, quite high end back in the day, but you know it's been a bit eclipsed now, uh, so probably is not going to sit too high, but you can see uh, you know it's still got quite a lot of grunt to you know uh, open things nice and quick here so that is good and you should have a quick look at the camera as well so you get your permissions stuff there and whoa maybe we have uh, unstability there so maybe the camera is not very stable which uh, is a little bit lame but you know, I'm guessing that they'll pro this is probably a work in progress and they'll update it. Or maybe I'm not using the most recent version of the uh, the ROM here. Let me just double check. So I don't think I'm actually using the most recent version because I'm sure I saw 6.0.1. Uh, but basically, uh, you know, I think generally uh, it should be fixed eventually here. Uh, and probably worthwhile trying a different camera as well that could uh, fix that issue uh, but you know everything else seems to be quite nice and stable here so definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of stock uh, marshmallow uh, but yeah just a quick little video here then checking out Android marshmallow on the M7 hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one cheers